Alright guys, I'm going to do two tests here. Uh, I'm going to do one with the AR coated acrylic and uh, coated for red and then I'm going to do another test uh, right after with the 405 uh, G1 lens. Um, I also uh, have done it with the G2 but I'm not going to show an actual video with it because it uh, basically uh, within a couple milliwatts of a G1 so it's basically uh, the same power. Um, between the G1 and the G2 so I don't have a 650 G1 so uh, I can't uh, test that right now but uh, here are my uh, results okay this is uh, first with the, the acrylic like an idiot I had it on macro sorry about that it's alright you guys already seen the acrylic LPM test alright it's pretty stable around four or four hundred alright so I'm gonna switch switch over to the G1 I just wanted to shoot this in one video um, but I have done it in a uh, couple hours apart from each other and uh, I'm gonna test uh, focus laser refocus it um, okay put it off macro okay this is with the G uh, 405 G1 I have tested it uh, because they're back to back. They're, the power is going to be slightly uh, different. Um, I have tested the lenses uh, apart from each other by a couple of hours, and uh, the power is about 15 milliwatt difference. So the the highest peak I've gotten with the G1 lens was a. I feel that for some reason, I don't know what it is, but I feel like it's more stable with the G1 lens on. Or maybe it's not holding, I mean, it's letting more light through and it's keeping the dial a little cooler, or I don't know what it is, but it's uh, more stable with the G1 lens. It's a big improvement. In brightness, I can definitely tell a difference between the acrylic and uh, the G1 lens, and the the, the divergence is n really not any worse. 
In fact, it actually cleans a lot of the the artifacts around the dot. good enough. The G1 sits, uh, this is the 405 G1, sits nice and uh, close to the laser. Very nice. Alright. Alright, thanks guys. I'll put this up in a little bit.